Hi, Facebook. Hey, Facebook. We are here for another edition of The Good the Stuff. The Good Stuff. Yay. Happy to see you guys. All right, great. So last week you got to see our family and all of the things that gut health does for our family. The week before was about allergies, and today we're going to talk about candida yeast. Candida yeast is a beast. Candida yeast is a beast. Sing it with me. Candida yeast is a beast. So, I mean, I'm joking, but guys, candida yeast, it is no laughing matter. It's actually not funny at all. Hey, Kelly, what's up? I'm glad you're joining us. Hey, Lacey. So, Erin, what is candida yeast? What are, what are we even doing here? Well, we all have it, right? Yes. Okay, Unfortunately, it's in all of us. Because it's what you know helps to break a, break down when you die. It's, it's it's really more of a fungus. It's called a yeast. It's a fungus, and we all have it because of sugar and processed foods and antibiotics and that you've taken in the past. Birth control. It doesn't. You know, oh, there's so many ways that you can get an excessive amount of candida yeast and you can test it. You can go to the doctor and have your blood taken. You can do a spit test, but there's actually ways our body tells us that we have an overgrowth of candida yeast. And that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about. So I got my old little school teacher out. I'm going to show you guys a chart and we're going to talk about it. So whole body symptoms that you may be experiencing to have candida yeast. Vanna, will you hold it for me, please? Sure. Chronic fatigue. Okay, that doesn't mean you have to have been diagnosed with chronic fatigue, but you know how when you're tired all the time, that's not normal, guys. That's not normal at all. Allergies, acne, eczema, dandruff, so skin issues, candida yeast. Asthma, persistent cough, candida yeast. Chronic joint pain, low sex drive cold hands and feet. Guys, these are all some whole body symptoms of candida yeast. Next, let's talk about mental and emotional issues. Hey Stacy, hey Sorrel, hey Ryan. So, headaches and migraines. You know, you've all heard Erin's sister about her migraines. She doesn't have them anymore. Goodbye candida yeast, thank you probiotic, right? Sleep problems. That doesn't mean that you, you know, can't ever go to sleep, but how about when you wake up? you know, and then you can't go back to sleep, that's a sleep problem, okay? Anxiety, depression, you know, that, that isn't normal. And that's something that can be prevented and taken care of without a whole ton, ton, ton of drugs. Uh, brain fog, confusion, sometimes we call it mommy brain. Well, it's because when you have a baby, that's wreaking havoc on your body. And your yeast levels go up when you're pregnant, which causes this, okay? Lack of concentration and increased irritability, right? So, fellas, you watching? Whoa! Your woman grumpy? Get it at probiotic. Your mama grumpy? Get it for, for her birthday. Mother's Day, coming up. <laughs> All right, last chart, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. I love doing my little school teacher stuff. So, metabolic digestive, weight gain. That is a huge factor in trying to look at if you have an overgrowth of candida yeast. Constipation, diarrhea. These are digestive issues that most people either have, either or. Either you're not going or you're going too much. Guys, you should go every single day, no matter what. It's true. It's every true. single day, maybe even two or three times. After a meal, it should process and go away. Uh, carb, sugar, alcohol cravings. That's a symptom that you might have an overgrowth of candida yeast. Indigestion, acid reflux, thyroid dysfunction, bloating, and gas. So you might look at these charts and be like, oh, well, I have five from each chart. Then guess what? You need a probiotic. And if you're looking for one, message us. We can probably do a couple recommendations for you on which ones to pick and why. Yeah, well, because I've tried other probiotics and so have you. And our, ours is pretty unique and special because it has enzymes and the antifungal it and so that's what makes it unique and special we don't have that you know you can go to cvs you're not going to find espillardi that's the you know the nerd in me um knows that that's what the anti no i love it is. i love it you need to it is it is no, sure. and i cannot wait to tell you all more about gut health and how even we have a new product out that yep. i can't wait to tell you about it's also going to help with gut health and help with all of all these issues. If you're not taking a probiotic, you need to be. Yep. So we're going to say over and out. We're at lunch. Rosé, Sauvignon. Yep. So we'll say cheers to good health and the, the good, good stuff. stuff. Bye guys. Bye. -bye.